Facts of Mars, and I always told how kind and compassionate liberals are. Now here's a story about Mark Zuckerberg. He's basically kicking a bunch, let's kick a bunch of native Hawaiians off their land that they've been on for a long time. So let's get started. Zuckerberg is a privacy freak. He is out to gain absolute control over the 700 acre Hawaiian estate, ensuring there aren't any legal descendants owning land within it. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg has a huge 700 acre beachfront property in the magnificent Hawaiian Islands, so technically there exist slices of land that aren't his from a legal point of view. That has prompted the CEO to initiate legal proceedings to gain absolute ownership of those areas in which, which in all measure about eight acres at most. So, eight acres out of the 700 aren't technically his, but he's saying, saying to those native Hawaiians, screw you, you're out of here. As many as eight quiet Title and partition suits have been filed in local court to make, that makes it mandatory for the landowners to sell their undeveloped property to the highest bidder in a public auction. So far, 30 families have been identified to have been found to own 14 parcels of land. What's interesting is that Many may not even be aware they are owning a piece of land that right now falls under privacy. The private estate of Zuckerberg, who had bought the land in 2014. That's because, according to the Kalina Act, a Hawaiian law that was enforced since 1850, anyone who inherits the land from their forefathers is the rightful owner of the land, even if they do not have for possession in their possession any legal deed or will. The Klan Kalina Act applies to Kalina tenant farmers who are grand land from eighteen fifty to eighteen fifty five. Land still belongs to the descendants of those farmers and anyone who bought land from farmers then. In a particular case one manual reposo has been found to have owned two acres of land back in 1894. The land is estimated to be worth around 1.1 million now, belonging to his descendants who have grown up to be 300 right now. In fact, Carlos Andrade, who happens to be a great grandson of Raposo, is helping Zuckerberg's team to identify other members of his family. So they they can stake the claim before the county takes control of it. If left unsettled, such owners will continue to enjoy legal rights on the land that they are now owners of. Of course, that is not a desirable scenario for some like Zuckerberg, who otherwise has been quite protective of his privacy to the extent that he has ever been found to have the webcam mic on his laptop covered with tapes to prevent any surveillance hacks. Now, how do you like that? This, uh, idiot uh, cares about his privacy, but screw everybody else's. 
and he'll kick Native Hawaiians off their land because he doesn't want them there. This is a kind, compassionate liberal, we're told. Unbelievable. But that's what you get. Uh, you have the public persona, and then you have the persona from people like myself who look at this and say, this isn't right. Take your pick. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.